Hello, and welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this tutorial, we will review the configuration for the IDIS Direct IP Network Video Recorder Network Tab. For most users, the Network Tab is the only area that requires some configuration for the IDIS Plug and Play experience. The Network Tab is used for configuring the remote client network connection. In Direct IP NVRs, the camera network is usually separated from the remote client network. Camera side network configuration is done in the camera registration procedure. Ensure that your network client port is connected to the office or building network. The simplest way to define remote connectivity via the internet for the Direct IP NVR is to use the FEN option. FEN, or for every network, is IDIS's proprietary dynamic DNS for remote access to the NVR via our free IDIS Center or IDIS mobile client apps. FEN uses a sophisticated set of techniques to make NAT traversal as easy as possible. The network should be P2P friendly. Configuring FEN is as simple as choosing a unique name for your Direct IP NVR. Enter the name and click on the check button to ensure the name is unique and then click apply. It's that simple! Your Direct IP NVR is now online and video may be viewed from any connected location in the world. The FEN service will continuously update the routing details as they change. Of course, you may also configure the network connection in the traditional way using the WAN tab. The WAN connection is set to DHCP by default. If there is no DHCP server or a static IP address is preferred, choose the manual option and enter the IP address information. If an NAT router is used, manual port forwarding may be required. Test your router or DNS server connection by clicking on the Test button. For more advanced users, a useful ping test tool is also available. Enter a local network address or a web URL and click Run to diagnose network connectivity issues. The NetFS tab is primarily used to configure the connection information for an FTP repository site. This information will be used by the Event Upload tab. That's it! Thank you for watching and please see our other tutorials for more information on IDIS products.